Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Trials to Glory, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, everything is all fine and dandy, winning our very first tournament. In fact, there's some new people that actually showed up. But first, I'm going to update my equipment. Oh, you can get a Taya collection this time. Uh, sure, sign me up. It's 2,000, but I can definitely part with that in a heartbeat. Now, what would I like to add to that as well? Doesn't look like there's much else. Oh, Volume 5 is here now. Okay. I'll definitely load up on this too. Uh, don't set that to any deck. Alright. Alright, so, Ceremony of Bell could be okay. Maybe Spirit Cretan. Legin is definitely very good. Morphing Jar number two can come in handy. Okay, these are pretty decent cards. Not the best, but I can make some use out of them. Just definitely gotta go over each one first. Wait, Chain Energy, I remember using that one an awful lot. That one could be pretty nasty. Ooh, I got two Legends. That's pretty damn good. Chain Energy, I believe, is like... For, to play or set cards, yeah. That can work against you, too. Flash of Salen is pretty good, but it decreases for every card in your hand. So that can be pretty dangerous. Alright, both you and your opponents like one monster swimming in graveyards and special summon it. That can definitely help you out, but it could also burn you, depending on what monster is in their graveyard. Okay, that would allow you to special summon a light monster, or soldier, I believe. If su summoned by a normal summon, the card is destroyed. <laughs> if your opponent has one or more monsters on his own, jeez. It's really only good for direct attacks. And then when a monster is summoned, it's just brought back down to a thousand. As long as this card remains face up on the field, you and your opponent must show your respective hands to each other. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. I think that'll be it for now. Hey, Rex. Hey! If you don't pay attention, my dinosaurs will stomp you flatter than a pancake! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha, you too. You're gonna duel me? Get ready for a prehistoric pummeling! Oh, the many memories I've had against you, Rex Raptor, in my first Yu Gi Oh! Let's Plays. Like, you've just pretty much been a thorn in my side. But no more. Okay. Two set cards, alright. As much as I'd like to use Change of Heart right away, don't think it would be my best interest. So let me bring in Dark Blade to the field. And I'll set this face down. Okay, you have the option to activate that. Hmm. I think I'll attack. Mirror Force? Wait a minute, I have an idea. What if I do this? I activate Monster Recovery so I can bring my monster back into my hand. Well, back in the deck, then I shuffle it. Sure, I have no monsters, but technically Dark Blade did not get destroyed. But unfortunately, I lost that on Change of Heart, so now I'm a goddamn idiot. Okay. That kind of backfired. In the midst of protecting my Dark Blade, I wound up screwing myself. Should have thought that through. Watch now, I never draw another monster for the rest of the game. 
fine. I'll activate Ultimate Offering, too. Okay, you're gonna go all out on me, aren't ya? I could see that being a thing. I thought I was smart countering that Mirror Force, but I guess I wasn't. Oh, come on. Work with me, game. I only need, like, one mo monster of at least four stars. And then I should be sitting pretty. Oh my god. I can only withstand one more turn of this. He is not gonna beat me in his first duel against me. I cannot allow that to happen. Come on, I need one monster. One monster, one monster, one monster, one... It's something. You're gonna summon a monster? Yeah, I thought so. Mad Sword Beast. Okay, that can, like, go through your life points even with a defense position monster. I don't see why you're still attacking me. I take no damage. So you're just wasting everyone's time. Okay. Gotta start the comeback. Okay, that's something! That is definitely something! It's weak, but then I can just, well, use Ultimate Offering to summon my Gaga Gigo. My Giga Gaga Gigo, I mean, there. Okay. We're gonna bounce back from this, guys. Yeah, definitely go after them. Well, even if they destroy my monster, it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna be sunk either way. So I'll just go after the Mad Sword Beast. There, okay. Oh, jeez, why would you keep a pot of greed? It'd be in your best interest to activate that as soon as possible. There's no benefit to just keeping it in your hand. Okay, yeah, he's gonna put all his monsters in defense mode, I thought so. Not gonna let me get a crack at him, alright. I see how it is. There, I'll set this face down. Okay, definitely gotta go after him. Since I'm not gonna be doing any damage, I might as well just try to break down his strongest attacking monsters. Okay, we should be in a good position to come back. Still setting monsters, alright. I see how it is. I need something to be able to penetrate that defense. Or at least have like a second attacker. And Gemini Elf fits the bill. Go after the face-up monsters first. I don't want to activate reinforcements yet, it's fine. So I'm worried about those two monsters there being flip effects. Alright, I'll end my turn. This is gonna be close. Oh, you. Well, on the plus side, it's set in attack mode, or summoned in attack mode. Are you really gonna try that? <laughs> okay, D spell does not benefit me in any way whatsoever. Alright, I'll keep Giga Gaga Gigo for the time being. I 
like, I'll just be patient with it. There. Okay, so what did I send to the graveyard? To an alligator! <laughs> that would not have helped him at all. Worst case scenario, has another Hani Hani. And I could be fudged, if that's the case. Tribute to the Doomed. It's interesting. Let's see what that is. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Okay. So it'll be no good to try to whittle him down. I don't think I need Invader of Darkness. Let's destroy this one. Okay, that was just a regular monster. Well, then I'm just better off... Oh no, I went to the battle phase! Okay, fine. I'll try to take out those face-down monsters without summoning anything. That was a Baron of the Fiend Sword, alright. Until I can actually get to his life points, I'm not getting anywhere. This is pretty much just dead draw after dead draw. He's gonna keep getting monsters no matter what. And I'm pretty much forced to try to delay the inevitable. Unless I can get some really good draws myself. I think this duel could have turned around if I just let Dark Blade get, get destroyed. He got rid of that monster. That's good. Okay, there's still hope. But, like, one direct attack from him is probably gonna ruin it for me. Okay. They were all normal monsters. I feel good about that. I got an idea. I was thinking, what if I just activated my uh, reinforcements right now? Because if I do that, he's gonna trigger seven tools of the bandit anyway. And if he doesn't, that means he just let my monster get stronger. So I'll force him to give up 1,000 life points. That way he doesn't use seven tools on my trap hole. That would be in my best interest. Okay, I'm not gonna summon a monster on this turn. Well, he can't have another Mirror Force, but he, if he has a, like, Magic Cylinder, I'm dead. He did not, thank God. He might have Magic Jammer and just can't do anything with it. Remember, he's got no cards in his hand. All right, time to bring in the bad boy. You son of a bitch. At least I had trap hole. Which I am going to use right away, because if I don't, I die. Well, that was a little too late, if you ask me. Okay, I don't see him having a way to destroy me. Even if he does destroy me, or destroys my Pitch Dark Dragon, as long as he doesn't have a monster with 2,000 attack points, I should be fine. Then I can just change a heart, and we should be sitting pretty. Well, that's not really going to do a lot of damage. Now, I just need to draw one monster, and I pretty much got this one. 
that was not the monster I had in mind, but... Okay, let's look at this. If I use Change of Heart, take the Binding Chain, and I use Man Eater Bug, that's not going to do enough damage. Okay. So, I guess I should probably set it. And then use Change of Heart? Or maybe I should just wait till the next turn. I'll wait till the next turn. There's no good for me to try to use the Change of Heart strategy now. If I have no means to get any to get the killing blow. But now I have to draw a monster now. Oh my god. Heart of the cards kicked in again. Oh, this is beautiful. You gotta admit, that was clutch. Like, that's just holding on to the bitter end. And that was a much-deserved victory. I only inflicted, like, 7,200 points of damage? Dang. Oh, that's right, he gave up a cost. That's why. Ah! The Ice Age! The Ice Age is here! No, it's not. Stop being such a baby. Maybe there's some other new opponents coming around here, too, other than just Rex. Maybe there's people over at Kybercorp Tower. Other than Joey, who cares about him? Huh, I guess nothing is happening. I guess what I should do is probably, like, have a rest day. Nobody special around here. Or here. Or here. I'll just buy some new cards then. With my not so ill gotten gains, but let's see. What could I want that's useful? Um I think I should get some more equip cards. Yeah, I'll load up on those. Axe of the Spear, I like that. Draconic Attack might be useful. Barrier Meteor Crush, I believe, is definitely useful. Yeah, because it allows you to pierce damage. There, I like that. Let's take a look at Draconic Attack again. This card can only be equipped to equip, equip Warrior Type Monsters. The equipped monster is treated as Dragon Type. Increase the attack and defense by 500. Okay, well, maybe not that amazing. But it's something. Yeah, I think I should probably just try to wait till Monday to enroll. I'm only just checking for new opponents, and I don't think I'm going to find any. I guess I'll rest again. I don't know why I'm not just going to the menu to do that. Uh, Yuki and Joey, can you, like, do that in private? Too bad you can't run in this game. That'd be so convenient. Oops, sorry. Let's check the tower. Oh, Kaiba, what's up, man? I think I'll go talk to him in the next episode, okay? See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.